Oh, well, hello there. So I uh, purchased this uh, um, mobile air conditioning unit from a lady on uh, kind of like a Craigslist type thing and tried it out at her house. It seemed to be putting out some somewhat cold air, but uh, got it home and it was actually just basically blowing fan air. Um, they had had it for a couple of years, using it for a whole attic to uh, uh, cool it. So anyways, um, talked to her about getting it back to her and, and back and forth. Anyways, uh, ended up uh, blowing me off and so I kept it. So I uh, looked at some videos about uh, putting Freon into these units and there's really nothing online about doing so. So I uh, looked at some about uh, regular uh, window units and whatnot, and they all seem to be about the same. So I uh, just thought I'd add one about these uh, mobile units, how to, to um, break them down and how to uh, put Freon in. So take out all the screws on it and you take it off and the um, there's a high pressure and a low pressure line and I put it on the wrong one the first time. This is not the one you want to use. This is the high pressure. Ran, uh, hooked it on, tried running the um, drying material and the uh, sealer material through it and all it did was just kind of spray out through the top here and spray out. It was a bit of a mess. Be sure uh, prior to doing that, um, but prior to adding Freon to these, um, in my case I use this Duracool. Um, you're supposed to go somewhere to have the um, Freon drained out of it. So you got to be sure and do that first. Get all the, the uh, old material like out of it, I guess. So you got room for this. So anyways, Duracool is the uh, stuff I used. It's a... Uh, uh, replacement for our 134A and R12 substitute. So go to the place, have it all drained out, then uh, when you fill it, it, actually the one you're wanting is the one that's insulated. The This is your low line. So I had bought another uh, one and put this on. This is a little better quality unit I got at Amazon. This one uh, probably works fine under if you put it on the low correct side, but since it was leaking all out around this, I didn't want to go find another one, so I, I bought a better one. This are like five or six bucks, and this one was like twenty dollars, but it's much better made. So screwed all that on, and then when you order this stuff, uh, these here come with a screw-in type uh, adapter. Well, the hose that you use is has this type of adapter so of course this won't go onto here so be sure to get the um, little piece that goes between them and it'll this will screw on onto that and then it snaps into this thing here and I can't remember uh, it was on Amazon also. I apologize, I don't have the, I threw away the box, but you gotta have this to be able to connect these two. Make sure that's good and tight on there, or else you'll get leakage out around this. Uh, as far as putting these on, if you don't know how, um, you make sure, pull, uh, unscrew the, the little uh, needle piece, unscrew it all the way up. There's a little rubber seal, you gotta put that in on this side when you when you put it down and then uh, you screw this piece down there's a little piece in this case a little gray piece that goes on the back side and you screw it down and it gets right up against it and so when you screw this down it punctures a hole into your pipe and you want to leave it that shuts it off and once you hook everything up you turn this two turns no more than two turns and then uh, it will uh, put the Freon in, so um, so when when you get everything hooked up, and this is hooked on. 
and you need to tighten that with pliers and then this snaps onto there and you've got your free on here same thing you want this needle piece screwed all the way back you don't want it where it will puncture it before you want it to puncture so you screw that all the way back and you put it screw it onto the uh, onto the um, bottle and when you have this on you want to turn the uh, unit on this is supposed to be upside down when you're filling it so you fill it upside down uh, and look at your reading you want your reading to be in the the you turn it real slowly because it will get up into the R red which is warning I had it in the kind of blue a little bit of yellow just slowly filling it and then uh, actually took two bottles of this stuff to uh, fill this so it uh, um, takes a couple of bottles of this stuff when you order it um, there's a dryer and a uh, bottle of dryer material and then there's a bottle of sealer material also which I put in of course whenever I was screwing with this side so I don't know how much of it actually went in but uh, they recommend using those first prior to putting in new um, uh, coolant so it uh, it got to, whenever it's filling up this got frost on it and it was a lot cooler uh, uh, this part here is a lot cooler and and it's blowing out cold air now so that's how you do it with these uh, mobile units uh, sorry I'm not real good at explaining uh, well I hope hope you like the video hope it's helpful to you have a great day